get the meta in your data. Welcome everybody, Gaming Mike here. We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited Homestead update tonight. It just hit consoles. It's been out on PC for a while, a couple weeks. Uh, a friend in need housing brochure, new, free. So tonight I figure we'll check out the housing up the homestead update, see what it's all about, uh, get a feel for it maybe, see what some of the options are on some of the houses. This brochure looks handy. Let's check out a friend in need housing brochure in the crown store. Purchase. Buy now. You've successfully purchased the brochure. It looked like there was something else. Well, well let's check this out first. Supplies. Is this... There we go. Following note, a company's old brochure tacked under it. Tired of beating, being out in the cold or living from in-room to in-room? Seek out Cantheon for your home ownership needs. Take brochure. Started. A friend in need. Ah. A quest. Ah. A quest. A friend in need. Let's make it active. Where's this Cathion? I learned of potential homes for sale. I should ask the broker for more information. I should speak with the landlord about the home listings. Talk to Cantheon. Show on map. Here. In Volkel Guard. Okay. So I need to go to Volkel Guard. Uh, where is this fella? Looks like he's over there. Fella? Fella? You the housing fella fella? Okay, let's talk to this cat, Cantheon. What? Unforeseen complications? What seems to be the problem? Until recently, Bulog Idolus was my tenant. When I learned she used my property to run a skooma operation, she broke into my office and Whoa. absconded with the deed. <laughs> oh Without my it, goodness. The guard does nothing. They don't believe I own the place. It's a total loss. Well, what can I do to help? I... Yes. I can't have the place tarnishing my good name. If you recover the deed and key, I'll sign it over to you. Bulag Idolus had a falling out with her own Oh my partner, goodness. Zugograph, I think. Zugograph. Try finding him wherever scum accumulates Ew. in town. <laughs> I'll look for Zugograph in the nearest outlaw's refuge. I'm totally not an outlaw, by the way. Okay, gotta go find Zugograph. Where is this Zugograth supposed to be hanging out? Wherever scum accumulates in this town. That's what the landlord would tell you. Imagine if that's how your landlord talked about you. Maybe that is how your landlord talks about you. I don't know. Oh. It's in the Outlaw's Refuge. Right. I get it. Zugograth. Hello. Hello, Zugograth. Zugograth. What? Which way? This way. To follow the flow of people. Hello, Zugograph. I don't know you. Nope. And I don't want to know you. Aw, oh, come on. You must be Zugograph. Yeah. So what? So I heard you knew where to find the Bulag Idolis. I might. For the right price. But yeah? my loyalty is expensive. Oh, expensive, huh? I heard you had a falling out. You can't be that loyal. Why don't you take 69 coins exactly? No more, no less. Yes. Huh. So you do know how this works. Yes. I searched your place the night she left town, but the only oh. thing worth taking was some old papers. Some papers? You well enough, so I'll let you look through them. Check my bag. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Inside the bag, you find loose papers, a map of green shade, and a scrawled note. Naril Nagaya, pay protection to veiled heretics. Goodbye. Pay protection. Find and talk to Bulag Idolis in green shade. Oh, off to green shade we go. Found green shade. I still vaguely remember how this stuff is laid out. Very vaguely. The Wood Hearth Way Shrine. Travel there. Confirm a con. Boom. Wood Hearth Way Shrine. Where is this cat? Where is this cat? Over this way. 
Oh, gotta get in this Naro Nagaya. It's a delve. It's a delve, and here I am without the jazz man. Dang. Is this the dude? Hold a moment. Oh. I don't want any trouble. It's a she. Let's not do anything hasty. The only knife on me is duller than a Breton stable boy. <laughs> okay. I use it to butter my bread. <laughs> the knife, not the... Look, what do you want? Are you Bulag Idolis? I am. And it seems I wasted gold buying protection from these idiots. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. What are you, some sort of bounty hunter? A little bit. Competition looking to end my operation? Cantheon sent me to recover his deed and his key, lady. You're... You're here to repossess that hole in the wall? I only stole yeah, pretty the key so that arse twig Cantheon couldn't send a guard after me. Arse twig? It's only used to me now is for wiping. Yeah? So how does this work? I hand it over and you forget I was here? No, I'll just take it off your corpse and she dies. Yes, if you give me the deed and key, I'll let you go. Well, I don't need to kill this lady. She's just some, uh, you know, orc in a dungeon. So give me the deal. deed. Take it. <laughs> now I'll go my way and you go yours. Agreed. Okay, bye. Talk to Cantheon. I got the deed back. Okay, so now we gotta go back and talk to what's his face, right? Meet him in Auradon. Oh, okay. Well, let's head to the Way Shrine then. Pardon me. Excuse me. Need to go to Oradon. What, probably back to Volkil Guard, I assume? Oh yeah, because the landlord, that's where he is. Travel, confirm. Running so fast. Where is he? Load in, guy. I'm ready to talk to you. Cantheon, there you are. Load in, Any fella. Luck tracking down Bulag Idolus? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's your deed and key. Good. But you should keep those. Oh, I really? Think you'd be perfectly suitable to take over the property. Oh. Consider it compensation for your efforts. Oh, okay. So the property is now mine? Almost. Really? Before I sign it over, I'd like to ensure you'll furnish the place. Oh, I'll furnish Not the place, sir. You're going to run Skooma from the property. Of oh. <laughs> I have no plans to do that. Lie. I have no plans to do that. I'm going to lie about it. Excellent. I'll mark the address <laughs> on your map. Meet me there when you I love that they made that an option. Make it official. I'll get some furniture and meet you there. I got to carry the meet furniture the across property. town to the Once place I've never been. Furniture. furniture. Where can I get furniture? Some merchants sell furniture. Try there if you need something basic. Okay. You might get a better deal on quality furniture from Guild Trade. Oh. If you have the time and skill, I suppose you could craft it yourself. Well, I think I just might have the skill, actually. Um, well, let's go see if we can craft some furniture. But you probably need, like, I think you needed blueprints or something, didn't you? Uh, I'm going to have to go check the crafting tables. Um, visit a home goods merchant. Purchase furniture from a Guild Trader. Find a pattern and craft your own furniture. Yeah? Check my patterns. Uh consumable diagram. Rough bowl. Okay, here we go. I can make a bowl or a cup or a hatchet. A practical hatchet. Does that count as furniture though? Does a bowl count as furniture? I'll check out the woodworking. That's what I was thinking at first, but I got distracted by the blacksmith station there. Where's the... where's the guy? Is it you? Haranwen. The teeth on these sort. What do you have? Rough box. Rough container. Rough crate. Rough crate reinforced. Rough platform. Stage. So... Um, I'll take the reinforced crate. There. Oh, and then I'm supposed I have to uh, craft it right here, too. Oh, I'm going to need some wood, though. I'm going to have to go into supplies and 
Learn the blueprint. There we go. I learned how to make a rough crate. Achievement unlocked novice woodworking furniture. Oh, I'm a furnisher. I go into blueprints. It says I haven't learned any, but I read. Oh. Oh, I had have ingredients selected. Okay, here we go. I had the have ingredients selected. Oh, I need heartwood and nickel. What's heartwood? What the hell is heartwood? And where do I get it? You know what? I'm going to buy one of those. That's the one I got. I'm going to buy all those blueprints and just take a look at what it takes to build them so I can get an idea of what's out there. There. Blueprints. Rough crate being forced. Heartwood and nickel. Heartwood and nickel. Yep. As I suspected. Heartwood. Oh, preview. You can preview the crate. There it is. There's the bolted crate. There's a rough box. There's a rough container. And a rough platform. Wow. Gotta farm the new heartwood from the other wood that you farm. It's an add-on. Oh. Furnishings for the house. So where are the guild merchants in this place? Guild trader, right there. To the right, to the right. Greetings. Browse, uh... Furnishings. Submit. No items. They got no furnishings for sale. Where would a home goods store be? Find a home goods merchant. Oh, there's that icon on my radar. I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, visit a home goods merchant above. It said that when I was pointed at it. Or did it? There we go. Oh, I've got a mark on my radar. Great. Great, great, great. On with the quest. Oh, you know what? How far away is this store? Oh, it's way up there. I need to go to the Skywatch Way Shrine. Okay. Hello. You're one of those people that collects trinkets but has no home to display them? That's me. And this one doesn't judge. That's me. This one doesn't judge. A block for wood cutting, a bowl a boulder. Look at this stuff. A green short hedge. There's a stool. A rough round stool. Firewood stack, stones, a tea table, a carved tea table. Well heck. Sturdy jungle trees, all kinds of trees that you can buy for your house. Wow. Lots of tree types, more tree types. There's some stones for decorations with lichen on them, little saplings, stools, a clothesline post, a black stone slab. Wow, look at all this. Hedges, boulders. You can really decorate the bejesus out of everything, can't you? Can't ya? I'm going to buy a fancy carved tea table and a stool to sit at it with the hand of Ariel is with which to sit at it guiding us through life and protecting us from harm. acquire more furniture at your discretion that's a hint nice hint okay cantheon oh yeah now i have to go back to the back to vocal guard doing 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 all over the map all over the map oh here's my is this my house is that cantheon he's inside Mara's Kiss Public House. I got some furniture. Oh, he's downstairs. I got some... Some furniture, Cantheon. Like you said, Cantheon. I, have some furniture, then. One I got some furniture. I have what you requested. Shall we complete our transaction free of the concerns of Skooma Runners? Yes, I am ready to own some property. Then let me congratulate you <laughs> on your new home. Thank you. So I think it modest, but I've always preferred to think of it as cozy. That's all there is to it? Yes, the house is yours. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> oh, no. no, I get it. I get it. Cantheon, that's a good one. I like it. Mara's Kiss Public House Anthology of Abodes available for acquisition. Okay. 
complete quest. To access your new home, open the housing section of your collections, navigate to staple homes, and travel to your home with X. Completed a friend in need, so I have a house. I thought I was going to have to save up a bunch of gold. I got a champion point. So, collections, housing, staple homes. Okay, not collected, Autumn's Gate. So you can just collect... There's like set homes in each town, and then if you get it, you can use it. But it's not the same house somebody else is using, even though they're probably using the same house. And that's how you do it online, I guess, right? MMO. Look at all these houses, and these are just the staple homes. And then you have classic homes. Look at these. Cliffshade, Dawn Shadow, Domus Frasticus, Forsaken Stronghold. Look at that! You can have your own fort! Gardener House, Grim, Grim Hearth's Woe, House of the Silent Magnifico, wow! Hunting's Palatial Hall, Malfeason Manor, Mornoth Keep, Old Mistyvale Manor, Quandum in Dorelia, Ravenhurst, Sleek Creek House, Stay Moist Mansion, you gotta be kidding me, they didn't call one Stay Moist Mansion, did they? Stay Moist Mansion. Hatching Pool's House. Shadowfen Classic. How does this spacious and comely hilltop manor so far above the fen nonetheless stay so delightfully damp? It is a paradox, like life itself. Don't miss the upper story lodging with separate entrance. <laughs> Purchase requires Shadowfen Adventurer Achievement, a friend in need house quest completion. Nice. All those adventurer achievements I've been getting are going to pay off with this housing update. That's great. Strident Springs Demise. Uh, Demez... De, Demezne? Demezne. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. The Ample Domicile. Dements? It's probably Dements. The Goranir Estate. Velothi Reverie. That's the classic homes. Holy cow. Let's look at notable homes. Daggerfall Overlook. Before Daggerfall Castle was built, the kingdom's rulers lived in this imposing manner, now known as Daggerfall Overlook. The keep comes complete with a lower dungeon level. You need to complete Hero of the Daggerfall Covenant Achievement and a Friend in Need House Quest. That's the quest I completed. Ebonheart Chateau, a magnificent castle keep complete with walls, watchtowers, well, fountain, and stable, all dramatically sited on the slopes of an active volcano. It just needs a murder, and then it will be haunted as well. Wow! Hero of Ebonheart Pact Achievement Required. So you have to beat the storyline for your faction to get these. Serenity Falls Estate, set in the quiet corner of Reaper's March. A rural manor of Serenity Falls deserves its name, with plenty of room for servants and livestock, all behind a handsome wall to keep out the bandits and burglars. Hero of Altmeri Dominion Achievement Required. Wow. Those are the notable homes. Anyway, so that uh, that's a little look around the homestead update. That's pretty bitchin'. I'm glad I have my own house. Oh, that's what I need now. I need to go to my own house. Collections. Housing. Staple homes. Mars Kiss Public House. Let's go to my house. My humble abode. Let's see what it's like. I got my house and this is it. This is... This is it. This is my house. To start customizing what? Oh, housing editor. Okay. Select movable objects with X or place objects from your bank inventory or collections menu with square. To retrieve a placed item, select it from the retrieve tab. Browse. Mounts. Non-combat pets. Parlor workshop. What's in parlor? Okay, there's my tea table. Place. Oh, I got a little... Placement sphere. Wow. Colorful. I'm gonna just stick this tea table in. There we go. And then I should have a stool. Yeah, got a stool. Sit at my tea table. I don't sit with my back to the door. I'm no fool. And uh, what else do I have? I have non-combat pets. Oh, I have a crab and a scuttler. 
Well, they can certainly go in my house. Hey, little guy. You're gonna just creep around in this corner here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> and, uh, oh, my, my, my mud crab. My, my, my mud crab. You can go in this corner. You've reached the maximum number of that type of object in this home. You can only have one pet. <laughs> ESO Plus members enjoy double the standard placement limit. Ooh, nice. But I can't place the crab, only the scutter. Okay, what about my mount? Can I put my horse in my house? Horse in my house? Can I? Horse? Do not have room for any more. Cannot place this furnishing by the entrance. Okay, well. Uh, exit. And can I use my stool? Oh goody! Look at me in my house! So cozy, it's not tiny it's cozy it's not it's not <laughs> pathetic it's quaint <laughs> oh man that's awesome my first home in tamriel oh man what do you guys think what do you guys think of the housing update from what you've seen so far let me know in the chat let me know in comments if you're watching from the from the future don't forget to hit that like button for tiny closets in distant lands. Oh, I see. So it is. It's just a room in this place. I get it. I didn't have to teleport to it because I was right next to it. I get it now. I didn't realize I was just renting that room. <laughs> but that makes sense. That's the starter quest. That's how you get started with the housing. That's your first house. That's your first room. It gives you a place to practice uh, decorating. It gives you a chance to try some of that out. I'm going to decorate my tea table with that thing I just stole. If I can. Nope, I can't. Wait. Retrieve? Oh. Oh, that's stuff in the... Okay. That's the stuff in there. I can't place the thing I just st stole, though. That's bogus. Browse. Settings. Oh, look. Guild visitors. Primary residents can be visited by those with permission even when you are offline. Make primary residents. It already is. Load permissions. Default visitor access. No access. Other players cannot visit this house unless added to the visitor or guild visitor list. Visitor access means other players can visit this house when you are there. If it's your primary residence, they can visit even when you are not there. Decorator. Other players can visit the house and move your furniture around. Wow, you can give them decorator access. Visitors. Don't have any entries in this list. So you can add players from there. Okay. Nice. Ban list. You can ban people as well. That's nice. I want to add my Wandering Rogues Guild to this. Heck yes. Confirm. Wandering Rogues are welcome in the house. Aw, uh, yeah. Wandering Rogues is the guild we play on. Uh, for those that don't know, if you play Elder Scrolls and you want to join up, feel free to send me a request. I don't remember how that all works in this game, but... As I get back into it, I'll be sure to do that. We've got a guild bank, but no guild trader. We'd love to get a guild trader, actually. That'd be great. Guild ban list. I can ban a guild. That's funny. Alright. Pretty awesome, though. I wish I could place that item I just stole. I want to place that item. So let's see. The crown store had something else. Oh, currently unavailable. What's that all about? Storm Atronaut crate. Limited time offers. Friend in need housing brochure. I took that. These are the previews of those different houses houses that are available oh you can preview all of them holy heck there's an Elder Scrolls gameplay playlist on my channel there's a PvP playlist although it's not too full also on the channel and uh, some things like that I've done some walkthroughs of some of the past holiday events if you missed those you can check them out as well um, in the meantime I'm gonna chill here in my in my friggin' house, in my closet room that I rent. Until the next time.
So yeah, thanks for tuning in to Gaming Mike's channel tonight. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe for more in the future, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.